There's a beautiful model, which is my favorite model. It's called the river model of a black hole. You can write the equations as, as a, the space being like a river that flows into this thing, almost like a sinkhole or something in space. And the river of space flows at the speed of light inwards on the horizon. And then faster than light inside. So if you imagine that you're a, pho a photon, a, a particle of light, you're like a little fish swimming against the tide. But if the tide's going at the speed that it's as fast as you can swim, the speed of light, you can't get out. Uh, not only can you not get out, <laughs> but you're going inwards towards something. And this thing, the, the something, is called the singularity. You say, what is this thing, the singularity? And I think it's really tempting to picture it as some infinitely dense point to which this star collapsed. When you draw a map of space and time, what you see really clearly is that this singularity thing is not a place in space, it's a moment in time. And it's in fact the end of time in Einstein's theory. So, so a way that I often kind of picture it or explain it to myself is that space and time have become so distorted that when you look at it from the outside, they flip roles. So space has become time and time has become space. 